back in 1990, maybe four, I should know, uh, there was a article published about this uh, little direct conversion receiver that uh, a friend of mine actually put together back in that time frame and um, I don't believe that it's ever seen RF anyway three or four years ago he gave me this just look at that it's beautiful I don't think that the boards are available anymore the company that provided the board is long defunct unless FAR circuits is making them I don't know but he already had all these uh, leads soldered to the board there's really not much left to do um, you just need to get it into an enclosure which I'm in the process of doing uh, let's see uh, I've got um, I got a little this is going to be the, the bottom with the uh, front and rear panels. And then this this will be the lid here. That's just This is just PLA that I spray painted. I don't think RF shielding is going to be too big of a deal for the receiver board. <clears throat> uh, for uh, an LO or a VFO, I'm going to use this... Uh, this is a QRP Labs VFO slash signal generator. I will need to add uh, that circuit there for uh, a low pass filter between the, the uh, QRP Labs VFO and the receiver because that comes out as a square wave from the VFO. Um, and I think I'll just use this circuit here for the bandpass filter for the antenna. That's what uh, KK7B uh, suggests. So, anyway, there's a quick little video about this thing. I, I haven't, I don't think there's any YouTube videos about the uh, KK7B R1 predecessor to, I believe, the R2. And uh, let's see, yeah, Rick Campbell, KK7B. And once I get it boxed up and working, I'll make another little video of it. NC0Q.